Hey, it's Peter here, and today I'll be showing you how to sync your iTunes library with your music folder, or in general, any folder that you have on your computer. Well, any folder that has media on it. And to do this, we'll be using a program called ITLU, which stands for iTunes Library Updater. And as you've probably guessed, or just figured out by now iTunes doesn't automatically sync your media well your music and video files to your iTunes library you often have to take a detour and manually sync them by adding a new file to your library so I'll show you a quick diagram of what I exactly mean by this so this diagram is showing iTunes, My Music, and Windows Media Player. Basically, your My Music folder and Windows Media Player are fully synced. This means that if you add a song to My Music or delete it from there, the same thing would happen in Windows Media Player, or vice versa. Um, doesn't really matter. Either way, everything's synced. However, iTunes and My Music aren't synced they're only partially synced so what is actually synced in iTunes is basically the song information like the artist labels and the song title so if you change that info in iTunes that will actually be will actually be changed in my music and vice versa but that's about it because if you add a song to my music it won't appear in iTunes and the same if you delete a song from it as well um, so that's basically how syncing works in relation to your my music folder in Windows Media Player and iTunes. Alright, so now I'll show you a literal demonstration of just what is actually synced in iTunes and what's not. So I'll open up iTunes and I'll pick a song Addiction by Ryan Leslie and I'll click on get info this basically will show me the basic labels of the song such as the name and the artist just the basic stuff and this stuff actually is synced with my music folder and I'll just show you that so suppose I erase Ryan Leslie's last name and I click on OK it obviously changes it in your iTunes application itself. However, this actually is changed in your music folder as well. So if I click on show in Windows Explorer, it opens up my music folder, as you can tell, and it brings you to the song. And if I right click on it, click on properties, then click on details. As you can see, the album artist doesn't have Leslie in the last name because I deleted it in iTunes. And if I were to actually add it back on within my music folder, click on OK. So it's changed the actual file itself in my music folder. exit out of this and get the info again it's changed back to Ryan Leslie so that's that just shows you that um, the labels are synced indeed in iTunes however if I were to delete the song from your music folder iTunes wouldn't recognize that so let me show you what I mean. So if I open up the song again and just delete it, I'll exit out of this. I try and play it. It's still there. Well, the title is still there, but it obviously can't find the song. And I'm not going to locate it now, but it gives you this error message. And Unlike Windows Media Player, 
Which I, I'm, I won't show you the example in Windows Media Player. Just take my word for this. But it's the song is still there, but it can't be found because it's deleted. It doesn't automatically fix this problem. So I'll just bring back the song, I'll restore it. My recycle bin. Oops. One sec. I'll just quickly restore this. Brought it back. And it's back in. I'll locate it later. But um, let's actually get to the point of this tutorial, which is getting iTunes Library Updater to solve these problems. The first thing that you're gonna do is open up your web browser. Now you're gonna search for iTunes Library Updater and I'll give you a direct link to the website but yeah, click on the first, click on your first um, search result. Just click on download. Now click on US Mirror, or if you're in Europe, click on the EU Mirror. And click on save. Now I saved it to my desktop. I advise you do the same should save pretty quickly it's a small file then you're gonna exit out and you'll see this zipped up file that you just downloaded right on your desktop so you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna click on extract all you're gonna should extract your desktop and you're gonna click on extract and you'll see just the same folder that's basically unzipped right near it it's the same thing so you can actually delete the zipped up folder because it's just a compressed version that you don't need anymore um, so what you have to do is double click on iTunes library setup and I I'm assuming you can click on either of the setup um, icons e try both if one doesn't work I'm just gonna click on setup on the bottom you're gonna click on allow if you're working with Windows Vista and um, well, I already have it, so it's going to ask me to like remove it or repair it. But it's probably going to prompt you to just set it up for the first time. You're basically just going to go through this setup yourself. Just use all the default settings. And you'll have the program on your computer.